Hi friends, this is HL7StartKit.com. Thank you for watching. Today I wanted to shoot a quick video to kind of show you, um, if you're using Mirth Connect, to show you how to test your JavaScript outside of Mirth. Because um, lots of times you, you test your JavaScript here, and then you have to deploy the channel, and then run it to see the output of your JavaScript. And so that can be time consuming. So what I do is whenever I need to do a task with JavaScript, I go straight to the web internet. And I use a nice little website called w3schools.com. Now when you go to w3schools.com, they always have this great little feature called try it yourself. And you can see I'm in the JavaScript section and I'm in the date methods because as HL7 engineers, we have to do a lot of um, date conversions and playing with dates. So I thought I'd do a test to show you um, how to do this with dates. So I'm in this function where it says get full year method and it tells you get full year returns a year of a date as a four digit number. Here's your script and then you click try it yourself. Here's the magic, click try it yourself. Now this runs a browser where this page lets you run any JavaScript. It happens to be this particular um, set of JavaScript uh, methods, but really you can run, run any JavaScript here. So what I do is I test my code here, right, and then I copy and paste. When I know it's everything's right, let's say I want to use this function in, in Mirth. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to bring it into Mirth. Now what I do is I take a look at it. I know this is JavaScript here. I know this is HTML, so I can't use that. So what I'll do is eliminate the HTML and use a logger to output my JavaScript to screen. Here is my date. Right? Same code as this. Only difference is I'm using a logger here and I'm not using a document that get element by in HTML, which basically does that. But it's basically the same code d.getFullYear, d.getFullYear. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now I know that's the code I want to run. I know it's, it tests right correctly in here. I know it works here. So now I just want to deploy it and run it here. And that's just a quick shortcut. And there you go. There's the output. So whenever you want to test some JavaScript code, come in here. You can even el eliminate all of this if you want to. You just run the script. Instead of documenting the element by HTML, you can do document.write. That's JavaScript. Now we're running all JavaScript. And that's it. Then I know this code works. I take my code, stick it in Mirth, run it, and it just saves some time. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope it helps. Um, let me know if it doesn't. Let me know if you have a better tool to test JavaScript outside of Mirth. I'd love to try new tools. And, th and that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And visit hl7startedkit.com if you'd like to uh, check out some free and uh, HL7 stuff. Thank you very much.